Hey everybody, this is Doug, BigKidPowerSports.com. Today we're taking the rear axle out of a 2000 Polaris Trailblazer. Uh, this is a two-wheel drive, rear-wheel drive, uh, chain-driven uh, ATV. So we've got the solid axle in the back. Um, first off, well, we've got both tires off, tires and rims. Um, got this C-clip that's going to come off, that's on that nut, that pops off. Then you've got this collar, kind of got everything loose here, so the collar will look like that on there. You might need to heat it and beat it, but that collar will pop off. That'll expose this axle nut. Back that nut off. Um, and then it really doesn't matter when you do it. I did it earlier just because I needed to get a screwdriver behind this collar, heat it up, get a screwdriver behind it. So I ended up taking this chain guard off, the spacer, and the sprocket. So that gave me space to get a screwdriver down behind this collar, uh, which at that time looked like that. This would also be under that collar. Pop that collar off. Get that knot off of the uh, splines or the threads. The sprocket mount is on a spline. That'll pop off. And at this point, if all you're looking to do is uh, get into the uh, the bearing carrier, you would take off this hub, which is this castle nut and a uh, clip. That axle will be free to go. Right out the other side. Um, if you're looking to take everything off the axle, the other side is just the same thing, other than uh, if you're working with a brake rotor rather than that rear sprocket. Pretty easy. If you need parts, 815 363 1254. 815-363-1254 BigKidPowerSports.com